Hey guys, and welcome to the, f at least my first, um, League vid rep. This is going to be a League match between the SC2GG team, headed up by the SC2 here, and a, a League group known as the Sphere, who is representing this game by Evil Darkness. Uh, this is on Scrap Station, as you can tell, and the League format here is a little bit unusual. Uh, it's going to be... Ev for a four-day stretch, every day there is three matches played between, you know, representatives from each team. It's not a best of three, it's three matches. And anytime you win a game, your team gets three points. Anytime you lose a game, your team gets one point. And I guess if you tied, both we get two, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tie in StarCraft, but it has happened. So I guess the tie would be two points either way. But I don't expect to see any ties. Ties are boring. Ties are lame. We don't want to do that. So, we do have Evil Darkness, Chrono boosting out some probes early on. This is always, anytime I scout this and see, um, you know, probes being Chrono boosted out, I always get very, very happy. Because if you're uh, Chrono boosting probes, it means you're not going to rush me. Meanwhile, we do have his, uh, no, that. We do have his probe over here, scouting out to see what he can do. Doing a nice little ring around the rosy, around the mineral line. The idea of what all the minerals are. You know, all those minerals being like, I wish I was mining those. These stupid bugs. We do have, oh, interesting. Uh, we do have SC2 that actually gets his extractor before he gets his spawning pool. That's always something that scares me, because I expect speedlings. I either expect speedlings or very fast tech. And typically, I expect speedlings first. When speedlings don't come, I'm like, crap, mutas. So, I anticipate he's going to do one of those. He does immediately put um, three drones on the extractor. So, it looks like he's going to be going the tech route pretty, pretty quickly. Meanwhile, the first gateway came up over here. And, of course, we have the overlord just kind of drifting above, moving ominously. You can't do it. Interesting, I don't know why, for some reason I never thought the overlords had mouths. And they very clearly do if you look at the picture down here. But, for some reason I just never did. I thought they were big, bulbous, pussy sacks of, you know, observation. And that's what I thought an overlord was. So, learn something new every day. We do have another pilot going back here, so he can hide some tech. Um, hiding tech is always a good idea. StarCraft 2 is much more counter-dependent than StarCraft 1. But I would say it's also... Um, you know, a lot more strategic. So, StarCraft 1, there, you know, you could have a certain build, and you could practice that build, and that build, you know, with proper execution, you know, there were the builds that did very well against it, but very rarely do you have a build to just flat out beat it. So, for a long time, ZBZ was considered not to be like that. You're like, no, it's rock, paper, scissors. You know, these builds just beats this build. And then JDOT comes along and says, no. No, that's not how it works. So, good job, Jadong. It looks like I was right. Um, the SC2 is going to go ahead and go for Metabolic... Or not... Uh, yeah, Metabolic Boost. I always get that and Adrenal Glands mixed up. I don't know why. Adrenal Glands just seems like it should be... You know, make them go faster. Because Adrenaline makes you go faster. So, I guess it does... Also, it makes sense for what it is. But for some reason, I always get the mix up in my head. And that's no good. We do have the expansion coming down here. Um... Pretty standard expansion, I gotta say. Here are the destructible debris that made this map playable. Before then, Zerg just hated this map and rage and brrrr, and just they, they weren't happy. Weren't happy at all. No pollen coming up, a second gateway. Here comes that initial uh, Ling. Ling is gonna tie and take on a Zealot, and yeah, that Ling needs to run away. Ling needs to say, you know what? Taking on a Zealot's probably not the best idea in the world. Probably not. And I've got to agree with him. I don't think, if I was a Zergling, I wouldn't take on a Zealot. Although, if I was just one Zergling, I wouldn't take on just about anything. I would burrow and just kind of wait forever. Because I am the weakest thing in the game. So, it must kind of suck to be a Zergling. I'm glad they can't really think. That would be depressing. Anything? Oh, it does look like back here at his hidden um, tech area, he has made a Stargate. And is trying to chrono boost out a Void Ray. This Void Ray could be very, very successful. He's going to kind of mass up up here to the north and then move south and head right into that base. Um, and we do have the lair up, but I do not yet see... Yeah, he hasn't even started on either the Din or the Spire. What about down here? Creep tour? No, he hasn't. So, this could be extremely successful. I, I can very easily see this, you know, being a game enter before too long because... Yeah, there's one already out, there's a second on the way, and he hasn't even started. He has no defense. I mean, that's his defense, that queen. 
queens are actually pretty good. But one queen can just barely not beat a um, void ray when two come in, especially the two charge up on this uh, spawning pool right here. They will absolutely destroy an eight SC2. I don't know if that's an actual word, but it should be, darn it. So here they come, and we'll see if the destroy a nation occurs. Destroy a nation, good times, come on. So right now, um, SC2 is saying, oh crap. So I'm going to send his queen up here to die. And it does look like there is one that already has. So yeah, he just barely got through the shields on this one. And they're just going to start powering through drones. And it's like the spawning pool is going to go down. And just bad things are happening. So there is a counterattack that's trying to go at those. Um, sort of things are saying, let's see what can be done. Now to come over here. What are the defenses like here? Um, actually, not too much. He's got two zealots and a stalker. This may be successful. But I still think these, you know, void rays are just so good at taking stuff out. I do not have a lot of hope. There goes the, or there's about to go the lair. Meanwhile, here comes the attack. The attack is coming in, and yeah, uh, SC2 is just saying, yeah, I'm not going to win this. There's two stalkers, two zealots. I just can't get through here fast enough. So, SC2 says GG. It looks like the sphere is off to an early lead, at least in the games I'm casting. So, I will see you in game two in just a second. Thanks for watching, guys.